Hello and welcome back. I did already go to some garage sales and thrift shops. I got a little bit of footage, so I will insert that in just a few seconds. And then we'll come back here and I don't know. I don't know what we're gonna do. It'll be a surprise. Okay. Sorry, I'm Two dollars each. Sure. Okay. Mechanical work on your Toyota? Doesn't need any. <laughs> you don't need any antifreeze oil to cough up like that shelf for sale up there. And it'll be good prices. And if you if there's something you That's like, cute. Uh, you can make a package. Two dollars. There's some antifreeze there. I don't know how good oh, it is. Quite a bit of and wear on it. Antifreeze probably. And then a bunch of, I don't know if you got a lot more. Sometimes you just need a little bit of oil and you don't want to spend the seven dollars on a jug of oil when you come to the bank. Look at that guy back here. He bought that one. Uh, and uh, you have to have it on. That one. Okay. I'm going to load that up. So then nobody else does anything. Yeah. Okay. And then I might need a red. Hey, care of it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, it's going to outlook. Betty Furnace. Hmm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of fun. I don't see a price on it though. A 
Lots of vintage at this one. Oh, these are cute. Very old. Would you like Hi. A bag? Hi, how are you? Oh, sure. Thank you. How much were you asking for your ladder? It just sold. Oh, what'd you sell it for? One fifty. Oh, good. Yeah. I don't feel too bad. I bought one for a hundred about fifteen minutes ago. So I guess I did okay. They're good ladders. Oh, awesome! Multi-purpose. Ten for the two pieces. It's pretty. How much do you want for the three canisters? Okay, I didn't see it. I saw it 10 on this one, but I didn't see it on that set. Oh, fell off here. 14? 14 for three. Okay. The whole set for 14. Okay. And one for cake. Yeah. Hello. Good morning. Oh, sorry. Oh, no problem. Can and the records are a couple bucks. Some are a dollar, some are two. How much are these? Mm. Cookies. Or are they very? Oops, sorry. That's okay. Those yeah. are five each. Okay, they're a lot, a lot I of do. work. I do paper towel. Yeah, yeah I nice. love that hobby. Is anyone interested in a free Tramadol. ice cold refrigerator? <laughs> no charge, on, but <laughs> it's quiet and it's ice cold. No problem. You could do what the closet did. They just put it on the vehicle. Yeah. Tied with binder tie. <laughs> I think that was in the movie, so we wouldn't know. Exactly. I think I'm going to get this canister set for 10. This one's a little rough. Yeah. This one you need to do anything. Even though there's three here, it's a whole set. So we are in a new thrift shop in Mormon, and look what I just scored. Mushroom mugs. They are $6 each. So that's quite a bit, but I think I can at least double my money on these on Etsy for sure. So I'm going to pick them up for $6 each. I also found these glasses, $2 each, really nice. There's only three of them. But I'm going to grab those. And there's these ones with $12 for the set. It's not a bad price. But in really nice condition. I don't know if I want to pay $12 for that set. And then there's this whole set of strawberry enamel cookware. Most of it's in really nice condition. They want $50 for the set. If they were priced individually, I would probably pick up a few of these pieces, but this one's in a little bit of rough condition. So is this one. These two obviously were used a lot, but I think I'll leave that one. So I'm going to share my haul with you from the garage sales and thrift store shopping. I also got a few things from Facebook Marketplace. So I got 10 of these Art Deco melt glass spice jars 
for $2 on Facebook Marketplace. I just finished soaking them in the sink and now I'm gonna let them dry. I do have lids for them as well, but I still have to wash those. So I think I'm gonna put these in my booth for maybe about three to $5 each. I still have to do some research, so I don't know exactly what I'm gonna price them at, but I thought that was a really good score, two bucks for all 10 of them with all their lids and everything. And this piece I got at a yard sale today and I paid $3 for it. It is cobalt blue and poly glass. I just finished washing it. Really beautiful piece. I might put this in my booth. I don't know. I do have a couple pieces, um, an amethyst one and a red one listed in my Etsy shop and they've been listed for quite a while. So. I might take them all to my booth and display them together. I think they would look really nice together. I'm gonna to take you over to my table here and show you my haul from the garage sales, the thrift shops, and Facebook Marketplace. Most of this I got today, some of it I got yesterday. I went and did a little bit of thrift store shopping yesterday, but I didn't record, so I thought I would just share my haul with you. And um, I'll start with this piece because it's super cool. It is a butterfly shelf. And I got it from Facebook Marketplace for $15. And the lady that I purchased it from said her mother made it in the late 60s, mid to late 60s. So super cool. I think I'm gonna bring that out to my booth. I've been finding a lot of butterfly stuff lately. I don't know if that's a sign. Butterfly is, a sign of transformation. So maybe that is a sign that I'm going to be going through a transformation. Although I'm going to be 51 in September and I'm already feeling like I've been going through a transformation in the last few years, ever since I turned 50. So <laughs> I think I'm already going through it, but maybe there'll be some more transformation happening. Hopefully it's all good. I got these today at a thrift shop. I had got these before at another thrift shop. I have them on my fridge right now. Um, so, and I just picked these ones up today. So I've got these two. That's a picture of my kids when they were little. I've got these two on my fridge. So I got two more. I don't know if I'm gonna keep them or sell them. I paid 50 cents each for them. They're so super cute. I don't know. I think I should learn how to crochet and maybe make some of these. I don't think they'd be that hard. I think it's probably just one like little circular piece and then you fold it in half, put some pipe cleaner and glue on some magnets and you got some cute little butterfly magnets. Be cute to make like all different kinds of insects, some bumblebees and ladybugs. <laughs> And I got this butterfly yesterday at Value Village. I think I paid three or four ninety nine for it. I took the tag off. Really cute. So I think I'm going to put these in my booth and maybe do a little butterfly display. I got these at Value Village yesterday as well. Little butterfly coasters. About six of them here. I don't know what I paid. Probably. Three or four ninety nine, probably for all of them. Took the tags off of those. I still gotta wash them. I got these two brass swans at Value Village for two ninety nine each. They did have some fake flowers and that spongy stuff inside, so I ripped it out and cleaned them out. It was kind of a little bit tacky looking, so I don't know. I might shine these up. I don't know if I'm gonna put those in my booth or put them on Etsy. I've sold quite a few smaller swan soap dishes on Etsy, so these might do do better on Etsy. I don't know. I got these. <laughs> I just thought they were fun. I did sell an actual Dix Dixie cup dispenser on Etsy a few years ago, and these are just the cups. But I might put them on Etsy because you never know, someone might have a dispenser you know, they have maybe have a really retro bathroom and they have an actual dispenser and need the real true Dixie cup cups. <laughs> so I paid a dollar for them. I just thought the box was really fun. So I grabbed those. 
And this purse I got at Value Village, I did pay $10.50 for it, but it is beautiful. It's in beautiful condition. Let's see if I can get the tag here. It's made in Canada. Let's see if I can see what... There's a glare there. I can't see who made it. I will put it up on the screen, but it is made in Canada. It feels like real leather. I'm pretty sure it is because it is so soft and just feels like really nice quality. It is so 1970s, really fun and in beautiful condition. Like this is in pristine condition. It is so clean. If I didn't know anything about vintage, I would think this was like almost a brand new purse. But I know that it's definitely not brand new. It is... I would say late 60s, early 70s is my guess. Maybe 1980s even. Kind of has a 1980s look to it as well. This, the late 60s, 70s, and the early 80s kind of all mesh together sometimes with the fashion, <laughs> I find, in certain things. So I don't know. I'll do some more research and see. But I'm going to say definitely 1970s era. It's got that look. I got this today at a thrift shop. Um, all linens were a dollar, and this was, well, it was already a dollar, but um, butterflies again. <laughs> nice embroidered table runner with some lace and butterflies on both sides. So that'll probably go in my little butterfly display. And I'll put the little magnets in that display as well. These I got for a dollar for all four of them. Their linens were a dollar. They were on for a dollar. So these were all together in one bundle. So I paid a dollar for all of them. They're just really fun. 1960s, 70s um, curtains. They're shorter, so they're more of like a, a balance but I'm probably going to put these in my Etsy shop because I think they they would do well on Etsy. These would be so fun in a vintage camper. We have a vintage camper, but ours is more olive green. If these were olive green and yellow, I would be putting these in our camper. <laughs> I don't know if Wendell would approve, but I would be putting them in our camper. <laughs> But they are orange and they just don't, I don't think they'd go with the olive green and avocado green. We've got greens and browns in there and that's not quite, it's not quite the vibe for, for that camper. I got this at Salvation Army. What did I pay? $4.99 for this one. I think I might bring that out to my booth. This piece I got at Value Village for, I think, $3.99. And it's, I don't think it's vintage. I mean, it might be. It's made in Italy, dishwasher and microwave safe. I'm thinking it's contemporary, but I purchased it to display stuff in my booth. I thought this would be really good for Christmas to display some kind of Christmas, you know, something on top just to give it some height. And these are the tins that I got at the garage sale today. I paid $10 for both of them. Really nice condition. I'm debating on whether to keep these because I have a little tin collection, a rose tin collection in my kitchen. This piece I got at the same garage sale that I got the Empoli. Beautiful, hand-painted. Pretty sure that's, yeah, pretty sure that's hand-painted framed it's just got a number on the back so I don't know but it was two dollars it's so pretty I don't know if I'm going to sell this or keep it I have not decided this might go in my bedroom <laughs> I haven't put any art up in my bedroom yet well temporary there's some up there temporary but I I like really antique looking art for my bedroom I picked this up uh, Facebook Marketplace. I paid $10 for it. I think I'm probably going to bring this out to our country home. 
we have a lot of floral and fruit chalkware out there. So I might bring this out there because it's got a couple chips and it's been touched up. So I don't know if I'm going to resell it or not. Maybe I'll put it in my booth, but I did pay $10 for it. So I'd have to get at least $15 to $18 for it. So I don't know what those repairs, if, if it'd be worth it. And then I got this little sewing box, sewing basket for $4.99 at Salvation Army. I just have to clean out the inside a little bit. There's my receipt. <laughs> just have to clean it a little bit. And I think I'm going to bring that to my booth. I'll just leave that in there. I just sold a, I've sold two sewing boxes in my booth so far. I've also sold quite a few on Etsy too. So I don't know. We'll see. Might bring it out there. This I had picked up and I did a short video and this was one of the items that was in the short. It is um, Pyrex Woodland. Is this the Woodland? I think it's the Woodland pattern. And I just sold a smaller bowl that goes with this set in my shop. Or no, in, in my vintage booth. So I might bring this out there and then maybe the person that bought the smaller bowl might want the larger bowl too. This I'm going to bring out to my booth. I think this was in a past video. I picked it up at a thrift shop. It's really cute. I was tempted to keep it because it's just so adorable. But I don't know. I think I'm going to bring, oops, I think I'm going to bring it out to my to my booth. I got this off a Facebook marketplace, the same place I got the chalkware. I bought a few things from there. So I priced it for my booth. I priced it at $12. Unique ceramic fish dish. <laughs> Isn't that just fun? I don't know. I just thought that was so fun. And um, it is, I think it's Holland mold. So it's a hobbyist piece, but really fun. I'd put it in my bathroom, but it doesn't quite go with my other colors, with my color scheme. And I don't really have a spot for it, so I'll put it in my booth. We'll see. We'll see how it does. I think I paid $5 for it. So these are the vintage erasers that I got. I think I shared these in a past video. So I just um, put them in little individual baggies and priced them individually. The smaller ones I put five in a bag for 350 and then some of the larger more interesting ones I priced at 350 three dollars for that one 250 for that one and then some of them I priced a little bit higher like the cabbage patch one I put four dollars so they're all packaged and priced and depending on what they are, kind of depends on what I price them at. The, the lowest I priced was $2. And like this one, I priced for $2. These ones I put $3 because there's two of them in there. So I got to get these out to my booth because I thought now would be a good time to sell erasers because it's back to school. I don't know if kids would actually use these in school, but... <laughs> They're fun. I paid $5 for all of them and I took some of them out. I took out a few, but the majority are in this basket. So, I mean, if I sell half of them, I made some good profit. I got this belt from Value Village yesterday for $3.49. Just a fun vintage belt. I always pick these up when I find them. I've got a few butterfly ones that I haven't been able to part with yet because <laughs> I keep thinking oh someday I'll wear it but I've never worn either of them I've got two of them I think I did sell one butterfly belt but that one's really fun 1980s did anybody wear these belts back in the day I loved them and then I got this curio house yesterday at Value Village that's probably going to go on Etsy. I saw quite a few of those on Etsy. This is a package that I just got from a, another YouTuber 
Anne from Blue House Vintage. YYC? I hope I'm saying that right. Blue House Vintage. I'm pretty sure it's YYC, which is Calgary. She's from Calgary. So I got some books from her. I haven't opened them yet. I haven't had a chance to open them. But I got a stack of books, really, really reasonably priced. Really nice books for staging. And then she sent this cute little cross stitch and a nice card. So go check out Anne from Blue House Vintage YYC. She does awesome videos. She's got really great taste. And I think you'll enjoy her videos. I forgot to share this piece. It is made in Japan. I got it Oh, where did I buy this? I think I bought this at um, Village Green Thrift Shop. And I think it was a dollar or two. And it would have had some string or rope or something. It's a hanging planter. So I'm going to, I picked this up at Dollarama and I'm gonna add some jute to it so that it can hang. It's really nice. I really like the design on it. So I gotta fix it up before I sell it. And I've got a little bit of art over here, a few other things. This piece I got today was a dollar, made in Italy. I gotta do something about that tape on the back there, fix that up. This was 50 cents. And I got this at the Warman Thrift Shop, MCC. Same with this piece as well. I just thought that was adorable. It's painted on there on the opposite side. So I don't know if somebody did that or if it, I don't know, if, I don't think it was made like that. It's an Italian frame, trademark made in Italy. It is plastic, but it's just super cute. And it was only 50 cents, so. These are the two cruels that I got today in the garage sale, or at the garage sale. You saw those, $2 each, really nice. I think I'm gonna put those possibly in my booth. I got this at Value Village, and I think this is gonna go in my bedroom. Really nice uh, print, love those. So that's everything that I got on my table. I've got a couple bags here. These are thrift store purchases, I think. I'm gonna go do them over here on the floor. Oh, I also got this guy. <laughs> I got Garfield from a garage sale. So I'm gonna put him on Etsy, I think. Um, I think I paid got $2 for him. So he's gonna go on Etsy. So I'm gonna open up these bags. They don't have much to show in here. Um, I got this because of the little beaker. Is that a beaker? I feel like that's not a beaker. <laughs> um, it is Pyrex, so that's why I got it. And I did get some Pyrex beakers and uh, somebody told me what one of them was called. It's a different name. So I think I'm gonna put them together, all three, and sell them probably on Etsy. Make sure they're vintage. I don't know how old these are. This is Pyrex USA, I'm sure this is vintage. Um, but I'm gonna take the other two that I got at a past garage sale and put them all together on Etsy in one listing. And someone must have made this for it, handmade it got numbers on it. I don't know what they made it for, but I just wanted the little um, glass piece. I wish I could think of the actual name because I'm sure it's not Beaker, that it's not a Beaker. <laughs> Tell me in the comments what that is. So I got six of these. I'm only gonna sh open one today. You would have saw that in the video. And they are made in Canada. I think these are Mary Mushroom. I'm pretty sure they are. Just little 
coffee mugs. I paid $6 each for them. I know that is a lot. It's probably, I don't know if that was a wise decision or not, but I'm going to list them on Etsy individually. So I think I'm going to put $12 each, maybe more. I'll have to do some research. I don't know exactly what they're going for these days, but I'm thinking at least $12 each. Somebody can purchase one, two, three, four, five, or six. So I got, yeah, I got six of them. I'm not going to open them all up, but hopefully that wasn't a bad buy. I mean, at the very least, I can make my money back if I could probably sell them all for $40 and make a few dollars if, at the very least. <laughs> Sometimes you just buy things because it's like, oh, that's super cool. And I never find it in the wild. So I'm buying it. And I know that I'm going to make at least my money back. So I got these at a thrift shop. Which one did, was it? Uh, Osler Gospel Echoes Team Thrift Shop. These I got at a new thrift shop in Warman. And I cannot think of the name because I've only been there twice. So I will put the name on the screen. That is where I got the six mushroom mugs. And these I got from Gospel Echoes Team Thrift Shop in Warman. I paid $5 for each of them. Really nice condition, no chips or cracks on them. That looks almost brand new. And I think it is, yeah, it's Miller Studio 1974. It looks like so, pristine. <laughs> Doesn't look like 1974. And a cardinal, which is really cool. I think this is, yeah, Miller Studio 1972. So I'm not sure yet if I'm going to put these on Etsy or put them in my booth. I might put the fruit in my booth and maybe the cardinal on Etsy because cardinals are pretty popular. So it might do well on there. I honestly can't even remember what I got. Oh, this is some pottery. And I just thought this was so fun and pretty. It's all carved. It's quite heavy. It's quite a heavy piece. It was only $3. And I didn't realize it till I finished paying for it that there's like letters, DP plus L DK? I don't know. But there's some, it says DK on the bottom. So I don't, oh, it's really heavy. <laughs> it's a really heavy piece of pottery. But it was only $3. I purchased it for myself anyway, so I thought, well, whatever. I'm going to put it with the rest of my pottery pieces, and it's okay that there's initials on it. Nobody's going to see it. And I have to put it down because it's a very heavy piece. <laughs> feels like there's a rock in the bottom of it. Oh, and then I just grabbed this book for um, staging. I like to put a few books and then my items on top of books to take photos for my Etsy shop. So I thought this was a good book for, for uh, staging. It's only $2. So that was my haul from several garage sales, thrift shops, and Facebook Marketplace. I know this isn't my usual video, it wasn't very exciting because I didn't do a lot of thrift store shopping and not a lot of garage sale clips, but I needed to do something. I needed to do a video. I've been kind of stranded at home because I've had car trouble and it's now fixed. So I haven't really been able to go out and do any thrift store shopping. So I needed to do a video and since I finally got some stuff, I figured I might as well do a haul and insert a little bit of garage sale and thrifting and at least I have a video to put out so thank you if you're still here I truly appreciate it my next adventure will be going to a private pick at a subscriber's home I'm really excited so stay tuned for that she shared a few pictures of some of the items that she has and some good stuff I'm pretty excited to see what else she's got out there so that is everything for today. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.